We are really proud and glad to have you here for listening to our disruptive, innovative idea to um, operate into the desalinated markets. Uh, we present our fantastic project that we call Hydropia. Hydropia's aim is to face the problem of water scarcity in agriculture first. Um, we ask ourselves first, how could we tackle the upcoming problem of a population growth that is skyrocketing till 2050, um, and also uh, the desertification problem due to climate changes. As you can see, uh, California, for instance, is facing ex exceptional drought conditions in the past few years, and also the water stress on aquifers, rivers, and lakes. As the other team said before, there is 97% of salty water that we have unlocked. We will be able to do it. We've envisioned the future of floating cities with sustainable megacities, relying completely on nature's abundance of salty water and sunlight. We will see also futuristic harbors where we could settle our, our floating greenhouse. Let's see how it works. This is Whale, the half-grid floating greenhouse. We use um, two simple methods for, for doing it. Hydroponic system on one hand and med technologies that is called multi effect distillation. They use the solar power to generate uh, the process of desalination and distillation um, for fulfilling the system and hydroponic loop in order to grow our, um, our shelves that we have designed from scratch. Hydroponic le it makes it possible to lessen also the waste of water and also the space through how the vertical farming technique. Uh, so in, in case you want to know, the, the space cultivable is roughly seven soccer goals in less than 16 meters. How the magic happens? We use the solar concentration thing and developed by the small factory um, and conveying it onto our technology that is able, uh, using the same heating power for reaching the boiling point of water and distillating it um, and collecting it in a reservoir where it will be enhanced because of the poor quality of the water after distillation treatment. Um, enhanced thanks to mineral fertilizers or oxygenators and then thanks to other technologies that uh, our um, partners have shared with us because we share the same passion with sunlight, uh, they gave us the possibility to use their technology in order to fulfill the system with um, solar pumping engines. Uh, so we are totally off the grid. We use just green power and just the power of the sun. We understood that the market is really huge uh, because we have understood that uh, countries have the same problem of desertification on one hand and also the problem of water stress on aquifers and rivers. So countries such as Australia, East Africa, Arabian Peninsula, Iran and US West Coast are facing always, uh, everyone is the same problem. We decided to pilot our market in California for three main reasons. First of all, the compound annual growth rate for organic market for food and beverage that is skyrocketing until 2020. Uh, it, roughly the market size is 26 billion just in US. It's the world's largest market of organic foods. Second, major coastal areas where we could settle our floating solution. And third, a favorable legislation that will allow us to get organic labeling to hydroponic products. So it's in this context that we identified a possible business model. And what we're going to do is to sell our Hydropia solution to restaurant owners along the Californian coast as a means for them to market, in, to market their own restaurant or business. And uh, in this way, this would appeal to the farm to table and the organic food trends. And we estimated a, a, a final selling price of $27,000 because, because this is uh, approximately what every restaurant owner uh, spends on a non-digital marketing campaign every year. So uh, with this strategy, we're going to uh, have and, and gain huge margins over a relatively small amount of islands sold. And in this way, with these profits, we can develop our technology to provide a low-cost solution which is going to serve as uh, a way to fulfill our humanitarian vision to provide water for the less wealthy. 
So in this context, we established already strategic partnerships, for example, with Nova Summer, as for the solar pumps are concerned, and the Avsi Foundation, which is a no-profit, which is already uh, helping us, and the Smart Floating Farms project. So uh, what's next? In the next 20 weeks, we are going to prototype our high-hand solution, which we are going to market in the next 20, 20 months uh, to uh, California restaurant owners and business owners. And finally, in the next 20 years, we're going to develop our high humanitarian vision with a low-cost solution, which is going to serve as a large-scale crop production in the years to come. So, uh, of course, we're not alone in this. We're not the only ones uh, addressing this problem. And there are competitors spanning from floating greenhouses like ours to water treatment and uh, water uh, management for agriculture. But what we do differently, what Hydropia does, is integrating all of this in a unique off-the-grid turnkey solution, which is entirely sustained by clean, by clean energy. So, uh, why would you invest in us? For three main reasons. We are a, th a team of enthusiastic people with diverse backgrounds. Then we have two members who already established partnerships with our pilot market in California. And finally, we can rely on the technical expertise of Matteo, who's going to spend the next two years of his life during his PhD uh, on the technology behind Hydropia. So this is Hydropia, the floating solution to water scarcity in agriculture. Thank you.